All right, so it is an absolutely awful wet winter night right now. It's like 50 degrees, which is relatively warm for this time of year, but we're heading this way down to some swamps. We're gonna be shining around looking for amphibians, particularly tiger salamanders, which will actually breed under the ice this time of year. Super cool. We're gonna see what we can find. Ooh. I almost actually ate it. All right, so I think we're almost there. Finding our way through the woods. All right, so strange enough, the first amphibian or reptile of the night is this painted turtle. Is there ice or is it just, I don't think there's ice. Oh, look, he's moving. Its head was out though. Yeah, look at that. Just a casual midwinter painted turtle. Wow, that's crazy. It's coming right towards me. Check this out. The turtle active under the ice. That's nuts. Super strange. All right, so check it out. Just a couple feet away is another turtle. Is this one alive? This one's got like a bum eye or something. I'm not confident this one is alive. It's either got cataracts in its eyes. It's oh, alive. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Wow. All right, guys, check it out. We've got a tiger salamander right here. Look at that. That's awesome. All right guys, we're gonna leave this big male tiger salamander alone and we're gonna keep walking around this vernal pool here, shining around and seeing what else we can find. All right guys, check it out. Two tigers right here. Oh, look at that, no way. Holy smokes. It's pandemonium out here. Parts of the ponds actually have ice on them. And these guys are just out and about doing their thing. It's not raining right now, but earlier tonight it was pouring and I think it's supposed to pour later tonight. It's like 50 degrees out and that's pretty perfect for these guys. They're winter breeders. And uh, this is what they do, it's pretty awesome. Oh, look at this one. This is what, number four? He's on the move, on the move. Whoa, he's taking off. <laughs> look, there's a third right there. Here's one right here. So one and two. Look at that huge one. That one's giant. Two and three. Wow, that's nuts. Look at this one. This one's got lots of spotting. That's crazy. How many, we've seen six now? I think six. Crazy. Super nuts. All right, well, it's gotten quite wet out, but check this out. This is not someone I expected to be active. Pretty leopard frog, whoa. I wanna make sure I get some good video of him because he's really colorful. Oh, did I lose him? Huh, I lost track of him, but nice leopard frog. So the pond is iced over. We found the turtle mother load. Check this out, there's painted turtles. I guess hibernating technically, but they're still active. Just mulling around under the ice. That's crazy. Oh, look, there's another right there. So three. Oh, that's a big one. Four. There's three right there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Another one. Uh, another five. one. Wow. One. I'm just <laughs> on camera right now. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. It's insanity. 
That's a lot of turtles. All under the ice, too. That's nuts. Look at this little guy getting up. They've got, like, way more energy, too, than you'd expect for it being, like, as chilly out as it is and how cold it's been lately. Crazy. How's that rain jacket treating you? You haven't bled through yet? All right guys, check it out. Right here we have an egg mass. That is super, super cool. Right here at the bottom of this vernal pool, the tiger salamander used that stem right there to attach those sticky globs of eggs to. And obviously that's a very you know, sensitive thing that we don't want to touch or anything like that. So we're just gonna leave it right where it is and keep looking around, but awesome to see evidence of them reproducing like that. How you doing? <laughs> He's soaked. His jeans are soaked. Wasn't his night, I guess. Lots of lots of salamanders. Lots of turtles. Good night. But can't uh, win them all. what do you say? You can't win them all. Can't win them all. Yeah, we're gonna be heading to Wawa right now. We're soaked, and uh, that's probably gonna be it for us. But yeah. <laughs> Happy now? Unnecessarily. I, I don't know. It just doesn't do it for me. Yeah, that's that's a strange sized and shaped chicken sandwich you got there. Look at this. Look at them. One pack of ketchup for the entire thing of fries. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I got the better one. Mine's regular size. But there's always something very depressing to me about like being in a Wawa parking lot in the middle of the night eating <laughs> out of out of my car. But anyway, we had a really good night. Saw lots of salamanders, turtles too, which was unexpected for me, but pretty cool. We'll take it. All right, so we're gonna call it a night and uh, pick this video up another day. All right guys, today I'm out in the woods exploring some new places as well as some familiar places. Um, just kind of hiking around some seepages. It's a little bit above freezing, so it's cold, it's the middle of winter, but if you check in the right places, you still can find salamanders. So we're gonna give it a shot. I'm really hoping that we can see a red salamander or a spring salamander, but uh, it's kind of wishful thinking right now. So we'll see, whatever we find should be cool. All right guys, here's an interesting old spring house right here that I've seen some pretty cool salamanders in in the past. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda crawl in there. I'm gonna wear this GoPro and uh, use my phone flashlight and we're gonna see if there's anything hanging out. Interesting, I don't know if I saw what I saw before. I hope it didn't get away. I just saw two line salamanders swim down. Let's see. I'm seeing two line salamanders. All right, uh, way, way in the back there, you can see a pickerel frog, and then otherwise, it's just a bunch of two-line salamanders. A lot of salamander larvae, right there, right over here. Lots of stuff, but nothing that is incredibly interesting. So we're gonna check some seepages. Oh, lots of duskies. Oh, and a crayfish. All right guys, check this out. So I was following up this little seepage here from a main creek over here. Walked up this way and noticed this. It's this weird structure. It might be some sort of old spring house or something. But what I'm hoping that on the inside of here, yeah, you can see where water flows out of the ground. So I'm gonna dig through some of these leaves and hope that maybe there's some salamanders in here. Hmm. Maybe down here. Big dusky salamander. These guys are pretty common. Whoa, oh, and a red salamander. 
Too young though. Not red yet. Let's see what else is in there. I don't think anything else. I'm just gonna put these guys back. Another red salamander. This one also younger than desired. Oh, another red. Still larval. Not the size we're looking for, but better. All right, guys, so this is abandoned structure like number three right here. This one's the most intriguing too. Got some logs where the water comes out. It's got a bunch of water in it. So what I'm gonna do is this will start by flipping these logs. It's pretty optimistic, but never know. All right, here's my Hail Mary to seeing what's down in this thing. Without a net, it would be hard to say if anything's down there, so. Interesting, though. So, so far I've been seeing like nothing, but I'm following up this little seepage, flipping some rocks. And check out what I just flipped. That's awesome. Oh, it's nice and pink. It's a nice northern spring salamander. Oh, it's beautiful. Hold on. I want it to get away. Oh, oh I got scared because I didn't want it to get away. These guys are kind of a pain because they will not stop moving. But yeah, the beauty of these salamanders doesn't necessarily always come out on camera. This guy is like kind of like pinkish orange. He's trying to go up my sleeve. Hold on. Come on. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just cooperate. <laughs> Not my sleeve again. Come on. All right. Just deciding to put this guy down on some moss and get some close-ups for you guys. But man, they're really cool salamanders. I know that there's different subspecies, like the Carolina Spring Salamander. It's a little further south, and those guys get a lot more orange and vibrant than these northerns. But, I mean, I wish you guys could tell. Like, he really is pretty pink and, and orangey. It's a neat salamander. This one's not really a big one. They do get quite a bit bigger than this. This one's actually, like, I don't want to call it small, but it's just a young adult. They get probably, if this one's this long, they probably get longer than the length of my hand. All right, we're gonna let this guy go back into his seepage here, and hopefully we can find a couple more. It's pretty sweet. So the beauty of these seepages here is they're stems that flow into the main river, and if you follow them up far enough, what happens is it's literally just spring water coming out of the ground, out of the hillside, and it comes out at like 45 degrees, so it doesn't freeze in the winter, even, you know, when the rest of the landscape is frozen. Typically, you don't want to go digging through seepages when it's like, you know, really freezing or below freezing out because you don't want to be exposing the animals to freezing cold temperatures when you find them. But on kind of warmer days in the winter, uh, it's a really good way to find salamanders because they're all kind of condensed in these cool little areas. So. Let's keep looking around. All right, so check this out. We just reached the head of the seepage. Look at this. There's water flow. Literally, you can see the water moving and it's just coming out of the ground, like right up here. And then look above that, it's nothing. So it comes right out of the ground. It's pretty awesome. So I just flipped this rock and these guys are really common. But here, whoa. Don't get away, hey. All right, well that was a dusky salamander. <laughs> All right guys, that's gonna do it for me. I'm back in my car now and I'm gonna head home in a few minutes, but cool that we got to find a couple more salamanders to tack on to the end of this video. Spring salamanders are always cool to see, especially at this time of year when they're especially tolerant of this cold weather. So pretty neat. That's gonna wrap things up. So if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>